Hey guys, I'm happy that you are here. My name is Bet Choi and I am your plantito from Mindanao. Tara at samahan niyo ako sa aking plant journey. To those who are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell notification para maging updated kayo sa mga latest videos ng Betchoy Vlog. And also, please follow me on our other social media accounts. Aside from YouTube, we have a Facebook page and our page is Betchoy Vlog. And meron din tayong Instagram account at ang ating ID is Betchoy underscore vlog. And let's talk about plants. So if ever meron kayong mga questions about plant cares, some plants na gustong ipa-ID, or any other inquiries about plants, you can send me a message or a DM sa ating mga social media accounts in Facebook and in Instagram and I will try my very best na ma-answer yung inyong mga questions. Para sa ating episode today guys, pag-uusapan natin ang isa sa pinaka-requested na content lately. Talagang napakaraming nagre-request nito sa ating Facebook page, sa ating YouTube account at sa Instagram account. And I am talking about our peperomia na watermelon which is what you are seeing right now here. And I will be sharing to you some care tips and some tricks kung paano natin mapalago at mapaganda yung ating peperomia watermelon. At ang complete name ng ating watermelon na peperomia guys is actually peperomia argyria or argyria or arg... Rhea. I'm not sure lang kung tama ba yung pagka-pronounce natin. So, balik na lang tayo, tawagin na lang natin itong watermelon para tamang-tama yung ating pag-identify nito. But you can correct me sa ating comment box if ever mali man yung pagka-pronounce natin. So, ang ating watermelon na peperomia, guys, this is actually native to South America and it is known for its leaves na ganito yung pattern niya, medyo roundish with a uh, green color and then very very nice and very distinct na silver pattern sa gitna and guess what ano ba yung ka, ano niya kakulay niya or kasing itsura niya it's the watermelon na fruit kaya tinawag siya na peperomia na watermelon and first let's talk about the texture of our peperomia na watermelon it actually kind of feels like a plastic or yung ornamental na mga plastic decorations na mga plants and uh, it's somewhat smooth and kind of silky din siya. There are more than 1,500 species of peperomia. And to tell you honestly guys, ito lang yung kaon-aonahan at nag-iisang peperomia in my plant collections. But I'm not closing my doors naman with the peperomia. Um, sa ngayon lang, ito pa, ito pa lang kasi yung nakakabighani sa akin. Kaya ito pa lang yung andito sa akin collection. But sooner siguro magdagdag na lang tayo ng mga iba pang species ng peperomia. One reason kung bakit ito lang, ito lang yung peperomia ko in my collection is that I really feel na medyo stand out siya amongst other peperomia. Although it's a common plant, um, I find this plant very attractive especially kung lumaki pa sila. I've seen a lot of peperomia sold in the plant market na medyo mas malaki pa nito and ito siguro yung size niya is parang almost the size of my fist pero I've seen na merong mga peperomia na mas malaki pa nito. So, Isang reason din kung bakit nagustuhan ko itong peperomia is that it's readily available and very abundant sa plant market. And you can find one at the price of around 150 pesos to 1,000 pesos depending on the size and the quality of the plant. One thing that I've also observed is that itong mga peperomia na watermelon, they are very abundant in places like Bukidnon and in Baguio. So I feel like mas nagtatribe talaga sila in an in areas na medyo malamig yung climate. And I can still remember na yung pinagbilhan ko nitong aking watermelon na peperomia last year, she was able to share with me na yung itong ating peperomia originally came from Bukidnon. At itong watermelon na peperomia guys that you are seeing right now, this is actually almost mature form na niya. Um, from what I've seen then from uh, pictures and other plant collectors, Kapag nag-fully mature na yung ating mga watermelon na peperomia, kung masyadong malaki na yung kanyang mga dahon, nag-iiba din yung kanyang color pattern dito. So, um, 
parang nagfi-fade out yung color green and mostly nagiging silvery na yung kanyang color dito. And to tell you honestly guys, itong ating peperomia na watermelon, this is very easy to take care and easy to propagate. Just need to take note of two very important things. First one is to provide our watermelon na peperomia enough lighting or yung very sufficient na lighting. Second one is not to overwater them. So this is really highly recommended sa mga plant beginners. So kayang-kaya lang talaga ito kahit baguhan ka pa mag-collect ng mga plants. And now we will be talking about our care tips for our peperomia na watermelon. So we will just divide it into four parts. First one would be the lighting. Second one is the watering needs of our plant. And the third one will be the soil mix. And that already in includes the fertilizer being used. For my watermelon na peperomia, I highly recommend that we place them outside kung saan nakakatanggap sila ng bright and indirect sunlight. For this plant, I place it in an area na shaded but still bright and it's being shaded under big plants pa. So, ipapakita ko lang sa inyo dito guys. Um, I, I hope you can see the Varsivitiae natin dito na green and the golden Varsivitiae. So, I place my watermelon na peperomia under these plants para hindi sila matama ng direct sunlight but still it's very bright pa na area it is really not recommended na i-place natin sila in an area na may access to direct sunlight because they are very sensitive types of plants so parang may similarity sila with calatias na ayaw na ayaw nila yung bright and direct sunlight so you would know naman kung na-overexpose yung ating mga watermelon na peperomia if ever na notice ninyo na nag-slowly fade na yung kanyang mga kulay at isa ding dapat natin bantayan guys is yung pagkakaroon ng sunburn ng ating mga peperomia. Dapat iwasan natin silang masunburn kasi that would be very detrimental sa ating plant. So ano bang dapat natin bantayan in case na nananotice natin sila na nagsasunburn na. So yung mga signs noon is ang pagkakaroon ng mga kulubot or nagiging wrinkled ng ating mga dahon or pagkakaroon ng mga brown sa mga sides niya or some brown patches within the leaves so sa gitna ng mga dahon. So if you notice these two na signs of overexposure sa sunlight and then sunburn, dapat i-relocate ninyo yung inyong watermelon in an area na shaded lang talaga but still has access to bright sunlight. And if ever you decide to place your watermelon peperomia indoors, it's still okay just as long as you place them in an area na may access pa rin sa bright light. So, you can place them in areas near the windows or near the doors. And you may also use grow lights din naman para maka-supplement din sa lighting needs ng ating plants. But I still highly recommend na ilabas natin sila from time to time, siguro mga twice a week para naman makakuha sila ng natural source of light. So to summarize the lighting needs of our watermelon na peperomia, I highly recommend them to be placed outdoors pero sa shaded and bright area. So it's re really best if naka-place sila under the shades of other big plants. And if indoor naman, uh, make sure lang na meron pa rin silang access sa bright light, so near the windows or near the doors. And if pwede pa, um, Iano din natin sila, ilagay din natin sila sa labas, take them outside from time to time. So that's it for our lighting needs and now we will proceed to the watering requirements of our peperomia plants. And I get a lot of questions sa ating IG and then sa FB, even in YouTube, na nagre-reklamo yung ating mga plant, other plant collectors na yung kanilang mga watermelon peperomia ay nalulusaw daw, unti-unting nalulusaw at nasisira. And immediately, what comes to my mind is that na overwater yung ating mga watermelon na peperomia. Ang ating watermelon peperomia and other peperomias in general are very sensitive to overwatering. So, dapat talaga iwasan natin ma overwater yung ating mga peperomias. And in my case, I do watering mga twice or at least once a week, and that would still depend on the soil condition of my potting mix or yung ating medium na ginagamit. So it's really important to check through finger test or kung meron kayong moisture meter, gamitin ninyo yung moisture meter. Kung wala naman, finger test lang to check if the first top inch of our soil mix or yung ating medium is totally dried out. That's the time na pwede ka na magwater ng ating mga peperomia plants. One thing to take note also guys is that the environment and the weather in your area also affects kung gaano ba kabilis mag-dry out yung soil ng ating watermelon na peperomia. So kapag medyo mainit yung panahon like summertime, just like right now, 
medyo magiging mabilis yung pag-dry out ng ating soil. Kapag ka naman medyo maulan or medyo gloomy yung panahon, then also expect na medyo matatagalan din mag-dry out yung ating soil. So, since I'm using a relatively small na pot for my watermelon na peperomia, and as I've also mentioned earlier, I make sure that the first top inch of our soil uh, na ginagamit, I totally dry out before I decide to water my watermelon peperomia. Also, it's very important na kapag gumamit tayo ng mga pots for our plants, it, this is a number one rule guide. Dapat meron talaga mga potholes para makasupport ng water drainage. So for my watermelon peperomias, I do full watering. So basically, i-water na natin all um, yung surface ng ating topsoil until such time na makita natin na nag-drain na yung water. Then sure na tayo na nakakuha na ng enough water yung ating soil mix. One good advice na may bibigay ko sa inyo guys is to use a relatively small pot for your watermelon peperomias. Kasi yun yung na-notice ko with my peperomia ng watermelon. Medyo mas gusto nila yung mas siksik na environment for their roots. I also do misting twice a day para naman ma-ensure natin na hindi mag-dry out yung mga leaves ng ating watermelon peperomia. And also, I place them in an area na kasama yung iba pang klase ng mga plants para naman medyo humid or medyo may moisture yung kanyang environment. And again, as I have mentioned earlier na yung ating mga peperomia na watermelons, they thrive in areas dun sa mga Bukidnon and sa Baguio which are cold areas. So it's really important that we try to mimic and like imitate that scenario kung saan medyo malamig yung environment niya. Make sure din guys na hindi naman natin i-underwater yung ating mga watermelon peperomia. So kung problema yung overwatering, problema din naman yung pag-underwater na ating mga peperomia. So malalaman naman natin kung na-underwater natin sila kung medyo nagiging droopy sila or sloppy and kung nagda-dry na rin yung kanyang mga leaves. And medyo nagiging kulubot din yung mga dahon kapag na-underwater yung ating peperomia. So if ever that happens, immediately water lang natin yung ating watermelon peperomia and um, makaka-recover din naman sila agad-agad. To compare yung overwatering at underwatering guys, the underwatering is actually a lesser evil kasi kapag underwater yung ating peperomia ng watermelon, they can still recover kapag didiligan lang natin sila. However, kung na-overwater natin sila constantly, that would be very detrimental sa ating plant. So there are signs naman at malalaman natin kung na-overwater natin yung ating plant. So magsustart na maging mushy yung kanyang mga leaves, magiging malambot na sila, and then nagbabrown na medyo watery talaga. So if ever that happens, immediately dapat i-approach natin yung ating watermelon peperomia and check if mayroong mga root trap. And immediately, you, you have to change your soil mix to a fast draining uh, soil mix. So that would be our next item, na, the soil mix and the fertilizer being used for our watermelon peperomia. So to summarize the watering needs of our watermelon peperomia, we have to avoid overwatering it kasi nakaka-cause ito ng root rotting. And signs of root rotting ng ating watermelon peperomia is kung medyo nalulusa at nagiging mushy na yung kanyang mga dahon. And that also includes the stem. So it's a no-no talaga guys na mag-overwater tayo. So make sure na we check the soil condition first before watering our peperomia watermelon. Also, iwasan din natin na ma-underwater sila kasi nagiging sensitive din sila kapag totally dried out na yung kanyang soil mix. But then, it's uh, okay lang kasi makaka-recover din naman na yung ating watermelon peperomia once na ma-water na natin sila. And I also recommend guys na i-shower natin or uh, basahin din natin yung mga dahon na ating mga watermelon peperomia from time to time, siguro at least once a week, para malinis din natin yung kanyang mga dahon, matanggal yung mga alikabok, and some other pest or whatever na andun sa ating mga halaman. In this way, mas magiging mabilis yung pag-absorb or magiging maganda yung pag-absorb ng ating watermelon peperomia plant ng sunlight. Now, let's talk about the soil mix being used for my watermelon peperomia. Based on my observation in taking care of my watermelon peperomia, preferred nila yung soil mix na medyo cocoa peat based o medyo yung medyo buhaghag, hindi yung compact type of soil. So, ayaw nila ng medyo siksik na type of soil. Gusto nila ng medyo airy and medyo buhaghag. Although they are very sensitive to overwatering, guys, hindi din nila preferred na ilagay sa isang medium na sobrang bilis din mag-drain ng water, like totally drain agad in one day. So that is why the characteristics of the soil mix that we are looking for for our watermelon peperomia, it should be loose, 
dapat ano siya nag-absorb pa rin siya ng nag-hold pa rin siya ng moisture but not very long na pag-hold ng moisture dapat fa- fast draining pa rin siya and then it should also contain nutrients for plant growth again guys let me emphasize na gusto nila yung soil mix na yung nag-hold lang ng moisture and when i say nag-hold siya ng moisture guys it does not mean na talagang nagsisit in or yun, nagiging stuck yung water natin doon sa ating soil mix. It's just that nakaka-hold siya na a portion of water which is very ano lang, yung portion lang na necessary for the plant. And ito na yung iba't ibang components ng ating soil mixture for our peperomia. Majority of which is coco peat. This is 50% by volume guys. So yung coco peat natin, ito yung mag-hold ng moisture for our plant. And the next component naman natin guys is the rice hull and this composed uh, 20% by volume. Um, and I'm not sure lang kung ano yung rice hull in Tagalog. Um, but here in, the, here in Mindanao or in the Visayan region, Visayas region, we call it as tipase. So yung balat ng um bigas uh, palay pala bagat balat ng palay hindi bigas ang pinaka main objective ng ating rice hull or yung pinaka main purpose niya is siya yung mag-absorb ng ex- excess moisture sa ating soil mix we have another 10% of coco cubes and itong coco cubes natin guys this will also hold moisture at the same time ito yung magpo-provide ng aeration for the roots of our plants and um, next to that is meron tayong 10% na pumice or yung mga small stones or pebbles at ito yung magpo-provide din ng uh, po-promote pala ng water drainage for our soil mix and the last component naman for our soil mix is the vermicast or yung ating organic fertilizer and this is 10% by volume at ito yung magiging main pataba or supplemental um, fertilizer for our plant so if ever wala kayong vermicast you can choose other alternatives naman so meron kayong cow's manure, horse manure, or goat's manure, pwede din yung ganon. Again guys, um, yung measurement natin na ginamit is percent by volume. So that would mean um, if 50% na cuckoo peat, that would translate to 5 cups. 5 cups out of the 10 cups total, yan yung kanyang volume percentage. And again, um, let me emphasize then that Itong binigay ko na sa inyo na soil mix composition, it doesn't necessarily mean na strictly ito yung susundin natin. Kasi I know na in your areas may mga materials na hindi available. So what we need to do lang is to achieve lang yung characteristic na gusto nating maintain, which is yung nakaka-hold ng moisture, yung medyo buhaghag siya, and fast draining, of course, importante din na nagdi-drain yung water. And of course, meron siyang nutrients. So that would be it for our soil mix requirement, guys. And yun na rin yung um, ending ng ating care tips for our peperomia and watermelon. Um, for the propagation video naman, as of now, hindi ko pa yan magagawa kasi um, I don't think na ipopropagate ko ito anytime soon. So maybe we'll just do a separate video soon na lang kapag time na na magpropagate na tayo ng ating watermelon peperomia. So that would be it guys. I hope na meron kayong natutunan sa ating care tips na nai-share for our watermelon peperomia. And I hope na naging helpful din ako sa ating mga subscribers and viewers who were asking for some care tips regarding our watermelon peperomia. And so before we end this video, let us do our shoutouts. Shoutout kay Jamalin Haranilia. Hello kay Lilian Vidal. Shoutout then kay Peter Go. Hello Hello kay Filipina di Matatak. Shout out din kay Danny Bores. Hi din kay Abby Gili. Hi din kay Juliet Manalo. Shout out also kay Jenny Dilag. Hello din kay Ivan Raceles. Hi din kay Miko Kalaykay. Shout out din kay Felita Caldamo. Hi din kay Ma'am Herminia Carlos. And shout out to Jose Diaz. Again guys, please follow me on our other social media accounts. On Facebook, that's Betchoy Vlog. And on Instagram naman, that's Betchoy underscore vlog. And let's talk about plants. And also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And click on the bell notification para maging updated kayo sa mga latest videos ng Betchoy Vlog. Once again, this is Betchoy, your plantito from Mindanao. Happy planting!